Here comes Wolver. I'll take some of that hay. Okay, we're on day two of our vlog series on positivity during this pandemic. We're here quarantined on the farm, and uh, the theme today is on hay. We're going to show you a little bit about uh, how the animals get fed their hay. And of course, you know hay is important, especially in the winter when there's snow on the ground and they can't graze out in the pasture. So they eat a lot of hay, and that's what we're going to show you some of today. And at the end of the video, we're going to share a little story about positivity, what it has to do with hay, and uh, hopefully a little, a little lesson that we can apply. So stick around to the end. And then also, when you get to the end, click the subscribe button and uh, the little notification bell, and then you can uh, get updates. You'll know when we have a new video coming out, and you can uh, stay encouraged and positive during this crisis. What do you want? Oh, you're grumpy this morning. There's enough for everyone. You gonna open the gate for me? Now you wanna open it? Get your sweet cream first. Come on. Okay, in the sheep shack. What do we got here? Your goodies? You gonna stand in your dish? No. They start with dessert. But their main course is hay. He has a love-hate relationship with me. He loves me when there's a fence or a gate between us and he can get his ears rubbed. But when I'm out in the pasture with him, then he thinks it'd be fun to butt. Yeah, rub, the, rub those ears, scratch them, scratch them. Oh, that feels good. Oh, I'm good for something, aren't I, Wilbur? Yeah, yeah. Give me a kiss. Yeah, okay, there's a good boy. Hey, good morning. 
I just want to share something with you that happened last Saturday. Um, it was a nice sunny day, so um, we decided to go into Big Rapids and run some errands. And this was before our um, stay home, stay safe mandate that was issued here in the state of Michigan. Um, so we were going into Big Rapids and I thought about our neighbors whose wife is on oxygen. And so I gave them a call and asked if there was anything that they needed. And uh, they, they assured me that um, they had gotten everything the day before and that they were pretty well set. Um, we spent about 15-20 minutes on the phone catching up over what happened on the farms during the winter and in the course of that conversation he must have thanked me a half a dozen times for calling and checking in on them. And um, I also learned in that process that um, he had a barn full of hay that um, was available if we needed any that two of his um, steady customers had sold all their animals sometime during the winter and they no longer needed a supply of hay from him. So yeah, we were actually down to about our last four bales of hay. So I was wondering where I was going to get uh, some more hay. So went down, talked with them, and uh, he said we could go ahead and, and buy 20, 20 bales from them. So went down, loaded up my trailer, and uh, got up the checkbook, went to pay him, and he said, well, actually, I don't need that much. I'll sell it to you for a, a really low price. And as you can guess, this time of year, hay is at a premium price. This is the highest price time of the year for hay. And he sold it to me at a, a really, really reasonable price. We actually saved about $200. Uh, the point I wanted to make about this is that sometimes when we think about positivity, we're thinking that we need to be generous, we need to be positive, and we need to reach out and help people, which Arlene was doing with that phone call. But we also need to be willing to receive generosity and positivity from other people. And that's sometimes a hard lesson. We had to learn that lesson a long time ago, being missionaries. But uh, when we do that, we rob, when we don't receive positivity, then we're robbing that person of an opportunity to serve. So um, I just thought about also that when we give positivity, then we receive positivity. And as I mentioned in the last video, we've seen so much negativity out there and oh my goodness, I can only imagine what those negative people must receive in return. So if we don't want to receive negativity, we don't want to hand it out. If we want to receive positivity, we need to be handing that out. So our message to you today is, hey, hey be, be positive. positive.